six cars start the 2011 Le Mans 24 hours. We start all three together and uh, the, we were running pretty quick. The two Audis are coming through the Fortune Kid. This is a great formation start. We had to push really hard because we had a huge pressure from the Peugeot's car. It's Audi, Audi, Peugeot as it's done. And then we got that first crash. It's the number three car. It's Magnus's car. Alan, are you okay? And Magnish is out of the car. That car's not coming back. Around midnight, our number one car then had an incident. That left us with just one Audi to fight against four Peugeots. It was going to be all or nothing now. In the early morning, I got a wake-up call and I had to jump in the car. This was the most difficult wake-up call I got in my life. I was not really awake, but when you jump in the car, it's like I got a boost. The 2011 car was completely new. The Ultra technology allows us to take a lot more weight out of the car. We use carbon composites for various different body panels and also the safety structure for the driver. We also made our suspension system lighter weight to be able to get the performance we wanted. The Ultra technology gives us a lot more flexibility with where we can distribute our weight. This allows the drivers to take corners flat out. When the car stick on the track and you go quick like crazy, full corners, you think that it's not possible. The transfer of the Ultra Spirit coming from uh, the motorsport division to world cars like this RS5 is a mixture of different materials for weight reduction to give the performance, the feeling, the response for the driver. What you see here is the wave disc brake. This brought us to a weight reduction of about three to four kilogram per car. Every gram you can get rid out of a car would help to make it quicker. The response of the brake is pretty close to what we know from motorsports. The driver can be later on the brake if he would be brave enough. When we put Ben in the car, we'd agreed what our strategy had been and then deviated completely from it. We are here to take the maximum risk to win the race. So I decided to really push hard. The lead kept swapping. Every lap was almost like a qualifying lap for us. When I saw where was the car and where was the Peugeot, I had no choice. Benoit Tellier has pulled off an absolutely awesome maneuver around the outside as the Audi is back out in front. I just wonder where Benoit got that from. I kind of screamed a little bit and then thought, oh, we made it out the other side, that's good. It uh, demoralized the Peugeot driver and that was the key time during the race. In the real life, I'm not able to do things like that. Right now, I am a normal man <laughs> and when I am in the car, I am another guy. The ultra technology makes a difference. When you have a car like that, you feel confident. It's just amazing, honestly. There's four Peugeots behind, but there's four rings on the top of the podium of the Mont 2011.